Mr Speaker, can I firstly start by thanking you for granting today's urgent question. The National Audit Office today published a damning report evaluating the government's progress in supporting disabled people into employment. They concluded that two years into the government's work, health and disability strategy, the DWP lacks any clear measures or implementation plan to promote the employment of disabled people. The report found that the number of disabled people out of work has remained stagnant at 3.7 million for the last five years, highlighting that the increase in the number of disabled people has not been matched by a decrease in the number of disabled people that are actually out of work. The report also found that the government has yet to evaluate the, effective, the effectiveness of its employment support programme, and indeed the head of the NAO himself has said that the government has yet to make a significant dent in the number of disabled people out of work, and the disability employment gap has stayed at little above 30% for the past two years. Recently, the Secretary of State announced a more ambitious plan to increase its target of employment beyond 1 million in the next 10 years. But given today's conclusions, how does she expect to deliver that? The NAO also found that the, work, the caseload of work coaches is set to double as a result of universal credit. So how will the Minister ensure that disabled people do not receive a worse service and what additional resources will be made available aside from just disability employment leads? We all know the access to work scheme is effective and many employers are unaware of it. Will the Minister commit to expanding the scheme and also removing the current cap that is in place? The Government's Disability Confidence Scheme lacks any credible performance measures to ensure disabled people are getting the right support and any quality standards and any independent evaluation. So will they now commit to getting the Disability Confidence Scheme independently evaluated? And will they also start to record the number of disabled people that are in work as a result? And finally, Mr Speaker, it has been two weeks since there was a Minister for Disabled People. When will one be appointed? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.